Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of our faculty and staff, thank you for being here for our National Honor Society induction. And uh, before we begin our ceremony this afternoon, would you take a moment to pray together? This is the scholar's prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, creator of all things, true source of light and wisdom, give me a sharp sense of understanding, a retentive memory, and the ability to grasp things correctly and fundamentally. Continue to bless me in my learning and guide me on the path to your truth. Grant me the talent of being exact in my explanations and the ability to express myself with thoroughness and correctness. Strengthen me, Lord, in faith, hope, and love that I may perform these tasks as a humble servant who is satisfied and confident in you, my master in all. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So again, on behalf of our faculty and staff, welcome, and thank you for being here. Uh, it's a very special occasion, a lot of hard work by these young men and women uh, here at Fenwick High School. We're very, very proud of them for their accomplishments. Uh, National Honor Society is quite a distinction, and uh, also proud to say that this past quarter, in addition to our inductees, we had 290 students here at Fenwick made first honors, and we had another 99 uh, who made second honors. So uh, great job by them, and thank you for your support as parents. I know it's not always easy, uh, especially when they're taking the more difficult classes and they're up late nights and sometimes maybe once in a while complain about the work that they've got. Um, so thank you for your support. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Kirshner at this time to begin our ceremony. I'll reiterate what um, Principal Blaine Cowles has said and welcome you. Thank you for the support you've given them. Um, these students have worked really hard. I'd also like to um, mention all the hard work and the inspiration that the special educators have given these students. It's really nice to, that they're able to come and that we're also able to honor all of them, whether they came or not. They all had a mark on your students' lives and it's always wonderful to reach out to those teachers and say thank you and to acknowledge that teachers and students have a large impact on each other. So our thing that we're doing for, we traditionally do some type of a musical or art type of thing for the program. Just to give you a little bit of perspective on it, um, we're gonna be in a little bit handing, um, doing the pledge and also the induction. During the induction, um, I will be handing a candle which symbolizes knowledge to the special educator which will then hand over the candle to the student to show the transfer of knowledge from one generation of teaching to another. So one of the things that comes with the handing over of knowledge is kind of a challenge for the next generation to embrace the issues and things that they have to do in their generation for the world. So that comes, this piece, Make Them Hear You, is about that. It's about handing over the baton to the next generation and challenging them to make a difference. So I hope you enjoy. and tell a story, let it echo far and wide. Make them hear you, make them hear you. How justice was our battle and how justice was denied. Make them hear you, make them hear you. And say to those who blame us for the way we choose to fight, that sometimes there are battles which are more than black or white. And I could not put down my sword when justice was my right. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Go out and tell the story to your daughters and your sons. Make them Make them hear you and tell them in our struggle we were not the only ones. 
make them hear you, make them hear you. Your sword can be a sermon for the power of the pen. Teach every child to raise his voice, and then my brothers said, Will justice be demanded by ten million righteous men? Make them hear you when they hear you. I'll be near you again. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student willing to spend time reading and studying while knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind is committed to learning. National Honor Society members must continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element of life, and it can be acquired only through diligence and effort. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through opportunities inherent in scholarship. Character. Character is the force within each individual by which he or she is able to practice virtue. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action while striving daily to make virtuous choices by demonstrating qualities such as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, and charity. Candidates must show, by example, the value of character. Leadership. Leadership exerts a positive influence on school and community. In taking initiative in class and through various activities, a leader strives to empower others. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield to one's personal interests for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will push ahead when others hesitate. Not, not, no matter what power and resources exist, they are ineffective without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is a necessity. Thus, to lead is a substantive change to each of the candidates. Service. Service is described as helpful actions, whether in the routine of a day's work or through magnificent action. Willing to work for the benefit of those in need without expectation of monetary compensation or recognition is the quality representative of National Honor Society. Volunteering time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow while being keenly aware of the Christian mandate to serve others is an essential candidate quality. So now that we have heard about the four pillars of NHS and both what they have achieved and also the um, charge to go forward with the same four qualities, um, we will now uh, proceed with the induction of candidates. You will be seeing them come up with their special educator and you will also hear um, some of their attributes and some of their, th um, some of their um, things that they've been doing the last three years or so along with some attributes they might be talking about with their special educator. Some of the special educators are not here today, but they will um, be still be escorted by other various faculty members here at Fenwick. So um, we will go on to the next thing.
Nathan Beatty. Nathan Beatty is being escorted by his basketball coach, Mr. Andy McCarthy. Mr. McCarthy has been Nathan's basketball coach all three years he has been at Fenwick and has helped develop Nathan into the young man he is today. Nathan plays baseball and basketball for the Falcons, is a student ambassador, and is also a member of Spanish Honor Society. He takes pride in his grades and has been a straight A student all his years at Fenwick. Throughout his time at Fenwick, Nathan has made lifelong friends and made memories that will last him a lifetime. He would like to thank his parents, his teachers, and his coaches, especially Coach McCarthy, for helping him on this journey. Maria Burning. Maria Burning would like to acknowledge her cheerleading coach, Mrs. Fisher, for being her mentor throughout high school. Mrs. Fisher has pushed Maria to develop communication skills and collaborate with her teammates. Mrs. Fisher has helped Maria to prioritize commitment and take initiative. Maria is a cheerleader, a student ambassador, and plays lacrosse at Fenwick. Maria participates in various ministries at her parish, and she teaches Sunday school every week. Maria works hard in school, and she excels academically. Maria would like to thank her parents, teachers, and coaches for supporting her. <laughs> Brittany Bell. Brittany is being escorted by her sophomore math teacher, Mrs. Payne. She has been very helpful to Brittany. Brittany has enjoyed her time at Fenwick and has made many friends that will be lifelong. She enjoys learning and being challenged academically. She liked playing tennis for the first time as a sophomore. She enjoys being an ambassador and giving tours and is looking forward to next year. She wants to thank Mrs. Payne for her help and support and the love and support of her parents and family. Peyton Burke. Peyton Burke is being escorted by her special educator, Mr. Lindsay Bittner, who is her tumbling coach. Mr. Bittner helped mold Peyton into the young lady she is today. Peyton has excelled at both academics and athletics at Fenwick. She has participated in varsity soccer and varsity cheer. She has learned through these experiences how to work well with others, which has helped her build her leadership skills. She has made a lot of lifelong friendships through these activities that that she will cherish forever. She would like to thank her coach, Mr. Bittner, and especially her parents for all of the love and support they have given her to help her achieve this honor. <laughs> Kendall Browning. Kendall Browning is being escorted by Mrs. Guy, Kendall's eighth grade teacher and she had a major impact on her high school decision and helped Kendall much through eighth grade. <laughs> Julia Capel. Julia Capel is being escorted by her special educator, Mrs. Katie Dabolt, who is her grade school music teacher. Mrs. Dabolt was her music teacher from kindergarten through eighth grade, and she was able to watch Julia grow into the young woman she is today and has taught her many life lessons along the way. Julia is a well-rounded student athlete. She has played on the varsity level of basketball since freshman year and was most recently named captain her junior year. She is also in student council, a student ambassador, a member of the Student Athletic Leadership Team, a member of the Spanish Honor Society, and often helps with camp campus ministry. Through these activities, she has learned how to be a good friend, teammate, and leader, and is excited to see where these experiences will take her in her future endeavors. She would like to thank her teacher, Mrs. Dabolt, for always being there for her and never failing to make her laugh. She would also like to thank her friends and family for all the love and support they have shown her to help her achieve this honor.
Katherine Carpenter. Katie Carpenter is being escorted by her special educator, Mrs. Carpenter, who has been her teacher and has always been one of Katie's greatest supporters all her life. Mrs. Carpenter has been her theater director since eighth grade. Katie has excelled academically at Fenwick. She loves art and the performing arts. Katie plays harp in the piano. She's an officer in Fenwick's drama club, a Fenwick ambassador, and has played on the golf team. Her love of theater and the performing arts is not just limited to the Fenwick stage. Katie has performed in over 30 shows and has been part of many different theatrical communities. Through her participation in these activities, Katie has learned leadership skills and made many great and dramatic friends. Katie would like to thank her family for always being supportive and encouraging her throughout her life. Samantha Crokulamon. Samantha Crokulamon and her is being escorted by her special educator, Mrs. Jean Horn, who is her high school counselor. Mrs. Horn has taught Samantha valuable lessons that have helped to shape the young woman she is today. Samantha has participated in athletics both inside and outside of Fenwick. She has been competing in a national level equestrian sports for 10 years now. And she has played Fenwick tennis her sophomore and junior years. Samantha would like to thank her counselor, Mrs. Horn, her friends and family, as well as her, as well as her coaches and trainers for all the love and support they have given to help her achieve this honor. Justin Davis. Justin Davis is being escorted by his special educator, Mr. Goodale, who is his 10th grade religion teacher, flock box teacher, and baseball coach. Mr. Goodale has provided advice and has always been someone to talk to for Justin throughout his high school career. Justin has excelled in academics and athletics at Fenwick. His resume includes playing varsity football, baseball, and working three jobs in the past two years, all while managing to stay on top of his grades. Through these experiences, Justin has learned time management, leadership, and perseverance. He would like to especially thank his parents for all of the support they provide, Mr. Goodale, and the rest of his teachers in helping him achieve this honor. <laughs> Peyton Deidesheimer. Peyton is being escorted by Kate Walker, her sixth grade volleyball coach. She has helped her grow not only as a volleyball player, but also as a person. She taught her that hard work leads to great things and how to be a leader. Peyton is a student ambassador, part of student council, and plays volleyball. She is grateful to all those who helped her to accomplish this goal of getting into NHS. <laughs> Keeper Gavigan. Kiefer Gavigan is being escorted by his special educator, Pete Ehrlich. Pete has been Kiefer's volleyball coach at Fenwick for the last three years. Coach Pete has been an incredible example of faith and determination during his courageous battle with ALS. Kiefer has had the privilege of traveling with Coach Pete to Puerto Rico on a mission trip his freshman year. Kiefer has been thankful for the example of living a life of service to others, even through extremely challenging circumstances. Kiefer is involved in the Fenwick community in the baseball, basketball and volleyball programs, and he is a student ambassador. He would like to thank Coach Pete, his teachers, and his parents for the support throughout his time at Fenwick. <laughs> Isabel Giglio. Isabel Giglio is being escorted by her special educator, Mrs. Carpenter. Mrs. Carpenter has helped Isabel gain a greater confidence in herself. Isabel has excelled in both academics and athletics at Fenwick. She has been part of the bowling team since freshman year and has gone to districts twice. She is also part of the equestrian and drama club. Through these experiences, she has made strong friendships that she will always treasure. She would like to thank her teacher, Mrs. Carpenter, and her parents for giving her the strength and courage to achieve this honor. Justin Groskoff. Justin would like to acknowledge his special educator, Coach Brian Zeckley. Justin Groskoff is here today through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. He has been very active in Fenwick, including as a Fenwick ambassador. He placed 
two, second two years in the National Latin Exam and qualified for the BPA Leadership Conference. Justin played basketball for Fenwick and is currently a member of the varsity baseball team. His teachers and coaches rave about his work ethic, demeanor, and character. He studied very hard to achieve and maintain first honors and recently scored a 31 on the ACT. Justin thanks his teachers, parents, and coaches for their influence and inspiration. Catherine Hafer. Kate Hafer is being escorted by Mr. Herbert. Mr. Herbert has been a mentor for Kate both on and off the volleyball court. Kate has excelled in both academics and athletics at Fenwick. She has been captain of the volleyball team, is a part of student council, and is a student ambassador. Through her activities and experiences at Fenwick, she has developed leadership skills and lifelong friendship. She would like to thank all her teachers, Mr. Herber, and her parents for the continuously supporting her in everything she does. <laughs> Eliana Hartman. Eliana Hartman is being escorted by her special educator, Mr. Stewart, who is her 11th grade A push teacher. Eliana has excelled at both academics and athletics at Fenwick. She played on the JV girls tennis team, is in student council, is a Fenwick ambassador, and is a part of the NSHS. Through these experiences, she has learned leadership skills and has made lasting friendships. She would like to thank her teachers and her parents for the support they have given her to achieve this honor. <laughs> Stephanie Hartman. Stephanie Hartman is being escorted by her special educator, Mr. Chelman, who was her sophomore physical science teacher. Stephanie has participated in ambassadors, student council, and Spanish Honor Society. She was also part of the JV tennis team her sophomore year. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their support. <laughs> Kendall Hensley. Kendall Hensley is being escorted by her special educator, Miss Anders. Miss Anders has been a great teacher and role model during Kendall's time at Fenwick. Miss Anders' class has been very engaging as Kendall plans on going into the medical field. Kendall has been the team captain of the volleyball team during her freshman year and is a Fenwick ambassador. She is also a member of the Spanish Honor Society, Medical Club, and Women's in Business Club. Being involved with these clubs have allowed her to develop leadership skills and friendships. She would like to thank Ms. Andrews and her parents for their, their support and su encouragement. Allie Hollow. Allie Hollow is being escorted by her special educator, Mrs. Dukes. Mrs. Dukes has not only been an educator to Allie, but she has also been a coach and mentor. Allie would like to thank Mrs. Dukes for all of the opportunities and fun swim meets. Allie would also like to give a special thanks to her family for helping her achieve this honor. Sarah Janik. Sarah Janik would like to acknowledge as her special educator, Lainey Gallagher, who was a grade school, grade school dance coach. Lainey has been a great mentor for Sarah and someone she has always looked up to. Sarah is dedicated to her education and athletics at Fenwick. She is a varsity cheerleader, dancer, and is on the track team. She is also a Fenwick ambassador and enjoys serving her community. Sarah is great for all of the opportunities that she achieved at Fenwick and looks forward to growing in her academics, relationships, and faith. She would like to thank her teachers, coaches, parents, and her special educator, Lainey, for all the love and support that they provided her to help her achieve this honor. <laughs> Emma Jordan. Ms. Thomas is Emma's special educator and was her seventh grade English teacher. Ms. Thomas helped guide and encourage Emma to continue to continuing writing. Emma has maintained her good grades at Fenwick while participating in art, art crew for both the fall and spring plays. She has also co-led and now leads a group that raises money for various local and national charities during all of high school. Emma began her own small business last year while continuing her job as a coach. 
Overall, she has made strong friendships both in and out of school while learning how to help lead others. She would like to thank Ms. Thomas for helping teach her words to inspire those around you and her friends and family for their support. <laughs> Lily Keneally. Lily Keneally is being escorted by Mr. Corder, who is her current religion teacher. He has helped her to strengthen her faith and grow as an individual. Lily has been an active participant in FEMIC activities and has been successful in her academics and extracurriculars. She has been on the soccer team since freshman year. She participates in many clubs, including student council, French club, and she is a FEMIC ambassador. Through these experiences, she has learned many valuable lessons that she will take her with her to the future. She would like to thank her many wonderful teachers, friends, and family that have supported her and helped her to become the person she is today. <laughs> Jeffrey Cook. Jeff's special educator is fifth grade teacher, Ms. Henkel. Ms. Henkel encouraged Jeff to learn and, sh and shape Jeff into an overall well-rounded young man. Jeff has excelled at both academics and athletics at Fenwick. He runs cross country and plays baseball for Fenwick. Partakes in clubs and activities such as ski club, intramural basketball, and student council. Through those experiences, he has made many valuable friendships and memories that will endure the test of time. He would like to thank everyone who helped him through his academic and athletic career, including Ms. Henkel and his parents who have pushed him to reach this honor. Maggie Kurtz. Maggie Kurtz is attending with her special educator, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark was Maggie's freshman math teacher and also currently her math teacher. He has helped her grow as a person and succeed academically. Maggie has been involved in a number of activities, both athletically and academically. She played basketball as a freshman, played soccer, and ran track her first two years at Fenwick as well. She bowled her sophomore year and junior years. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, is also, <laughs> Maggie is also a member of Student Council, Key Club, Equestrian Club, Drama Club, and is a Fenwick ambassador. Maggie is extremely grateful for all of the friendships Fenwick has offered her. She has made strong friendships and gained leadership skills through sports, clubs, and group projects in class. Maggie would like to thank Mr. Mark, her teachers, friends, and especially her parents and siblings for guiding her through her time at Fenwick and helping her plan her academic future. <laughs> Samantha Lorai. Samantha Lorai is being escorted by Miss Mary Marchetti, who has been her lacrosse coach since her freshman year at Fenwick, or first year at Fenwick. Mary has pushed Samantha to try new things and helped cultivate her love for, for the sport. Samantha started lacrosse her freshman year, has been a Fenwick cheerleader for the past three years, and is a Fenwick ambassador. Through these experiences, she has made numerous lifelong relationships that have shaped her into the person she is today, and the community around her is the one she will cherish forever. She would like to thank her parents, teachers, and Marie for all the support they have given her throughout the years. <laughs> Hannah Mazar. Hannah Mazar is being escorted by her special educator, Matt Schauber, who was her volleyball coach and trainer. Matt has helped Hannah be the best she can on and off the court by helping her in the weight room. Hannah has done well in sports and academics here at Fenwick. She was the captain of her volleyball team freshman and sophomore years and loves to do service with children. Through many trying times, Hannah has learned how to push through and how to focus on the good things. She is always living the dream and couldn't be more thankful for those who have supported her through it all. Luke Metzger. Luke Metzger is being escorted by a special educator, Mr. Donald Back, a longtime family friend that is considered more like family. Mr. Back has supported Luke in academics, athletics, and spiritually as he was Luke's eighth grade confirmation sponsor. Luke has been involved in the first ever SALT program as a freshman and a dedicated varsity athlete in both golf and baseball his last three years while maintaining a high grade point average. 
He has enjoyed his service opportunities provided through Fenwick and for his community and church. He has embraced his time at Fenwick, making lasting memories he will share with great friends forever. He would like to thank all of Fenwick teachers, Mr. Back, his sister Chloe, his brother Jack, and mostly his mom and dad for always believing in his abilities to reach any goal and for the unconditional love they always show him. He appreciates all their support and direction that made him the person he is and to make this award possible. <laughs> Dylan Miller. Dylan Miller is being escorted by his special educator, Mrs. Kelly Lewers, who has been a valued friend and supporter. Mrs. Lewers is always positive and takes extra time to check in, listen, and guide. She has always been a champion for Dylan, and he is truly grateful for her. Dylan is a Fenwick ambassador, a member of the Spanish National Honor Society, a proud member of the football and volleyball teams at Fenwick, as well as a proud member of the ski club. Dylan is currently a member of the Boy Scouts of America, Troop 186, as a life scout working towards his Eagle rank. Through these experiences, he has developed a valuable leadership skills, cultured, cultured patience, fostered resilience, advanced his character, and provides service to others. He is grateful for the lifelong friendship he has made through these activities. Dylan would like to thank his coaches, trusted advisors, teachers, Mrs. Lewis, and his family for their love, guidance, and never-ending support, providing him a strong foundation to achieve his esteemed honor. <laughs> Stella Nenny. Stella Nenny is being escorted by her special educator, Mrs. Fisher, who is her varsity cheerleading coach. Mrs. Fisher has encouraged and mentored Stella in academics, athletics, and character. Stella has grown in many ways since beginning this sport her sophomore year, due to Mrs. Fisher's never-ending guidance and support. Mrs. Fisher has not only served as a cheer coach to Stella, but also a caring friend. In terms of high school involvement, Stella has been involved in many different clubs, activities, and sports throughout her family career. During the course of her time here, Stella has participated in volleyball, lacrosse, and cheerleading. She has also served as an ambassador, participated in Shantytown, and was inducted into the Spanish Honor Society. Through these experiences, Stella has developed a strong worth ethic for herself, both in and out of school. Stella has matured into a young woman she is today and has gained a perspective into how to succeed in life. She wouldn't have been able to achieve this special honor without her coach, Mrs. Fisher, and her parents always believing in her. They always tell her that she can accomplish anything she sets her mind to, and with this recognition, Stella is energized to continue her academic career. <laughs> Abigail Osborne. Abby Osborne is being escorted by her special educator, Ms. Blaze Cheney, who is a family friend. Ms. Cheney has played an important role in Abby's life. Abby has ex excelled at both academics and athletics at Fenwick. She has been a varsity cheerleader and a Fenwick ambassador her sophomore and junior years. She has learned through these experiences how to work with others, which have helped her to be a good friend and teammate. She has made many friends through these activities that she will hold with her for the rest of her life. She would like to thank her family, especially Ms. Blaze Cheney, for being the best role model for her and for all the constant love and support they have given to her, uh, sorry, to help her achieve this honor. <laughs> Camilla Passetti. Camilla Passetti has enjoyed playing on the cross team the last three years. She has been a part of some leadership roles, including a student athletic, athlete leadership team here at Fenwick her freshman year. She loves to sew and has sewn all the dresses since eighth grade. She helps to sew costumes for the school fall plays and spring musicals. She aspires to be a costume designer for the movie industry one day. Camilla would like to thank her teachers and parents for inspiring her and never giving up on her. <laughs> Joseph Payne. Joseph Payne has been thriving in a academic setting since grade school, a trend that has continued here at Fenwick. He does not necessarily enjoy every subject, nor is he perfect for him, 
For him, homework is not optional at the cost of grades. It is essential. Avoiding it is not an option. It simply must get done. More importantly, he is able to communicate and work with teachers. However, he can't take all the credit because the teachers at Fenwick are very good at what they do. His special educator, Mrs. Straw, is no exception. He has been part of her French classes since he was a freshman. As the classes got smaller each year, these classes got more and more personal. Although he had not taken French since fifth grade, he has not, learned, he has not only learned more in her classes than at grade school, but her classes were more enjoyable too. He plans to attend college to study murology and maybe continue studying the French language and culture. He would like to thank anyone and everyone who has helped him along the way to where he is standing right now. Mark L. John Pennington. L. John Pennington is being escorted by a special educator, Mrs. Longworth. Mrs. Longworth was his sophomore English teacher. She has guided him both in and out of the classroom. She has taught him valuable lessons such as group leadership and effective analytical skills. L. John has participated in football, tennis, and ski club at his time here at Fenwick. The experiences and friendships made have shaped him personally and taught him how to be effective and reliable leader. The skills L. John has learned will be utilized for the rest of his life here at Fenwick and will continue to be used for the rest of his life. L. John would like to thank his friends, Mrs. Longworth, and his parents for their support. George Putoff. George Putoff is joined today by his club swim coach, Brett Burns. Coach Brett has helped push George to be the best he can be both in and out of the water and has instilled the values and skills to help guide him towards success. George has been able to bring his talents in swimming to the Fenwick swim team where he has, been, where he has had success alongside his teammates at the state level. At Fenwick, George is an inaugural member of the Counselor Advisory Team, and outside of school, he is a proud member of the Middletown Community Foundation's Youth Advisory Council, as well as a supported member of the Holy Family Parish in Middletown. George has grown as a student and as a member of his community since his freshman year at Fenwick, and is looking forward to taking what he has learned into life beyond Fenwick. He would like to thank his swim coach, Coach Brett, and his parents, Jen and Joe, for supporting him and pushing him to realize his potential as a young man. <laughs> Maddie Ross. Maddie Ross is being escorted by her special educator, Mr. Bendel, who is her varsity tennis coach. Mr. Bendel has helped Maddie become the person she is today. Maddie has worked hard in her academic studies and extracurriculars since arriving at Fenwick freshman year. She was co-captain of the JV tennis during her sophomore season and received the GCL Honorable Mention Award for first doubles during her junior season. She has also been involved with drama club, ambassadors, medical club, and student council. Through these opportunities, she has learned how to be a team player and uses that to help her every day. Thanks to tennis, she has met her best friend and made many other amazing friends along the way. She would like to thank her teachers, friends, Mr. Bendel, and especially her mom and stepdad for all the love and support they have given her to help her find her way and be herself. Sarah Schaefer. Sarah Schaefer is being escorted by her special educator, Mr. Herber, who is her volleyball coach freshman and sophomore year. He helped, her develop, he helped her develop into the person she is today and continues to support her in her endeavors. Sarah has excelled at Fenwick both academically and athletically. She has been an ambassador since sophomore year and continues to be an active participant. She played on the volleyball team and currently takes part in cheerleading and lacrosse. Through these activities and the Fenwick community, she has made lasting relationships that have changed her for the better. She would like to give a special thanks to Mr. Herber and her parents who give her the support and love she needed to achieve this honor. Will Schmitz. Will Schmitz would like to recognize Mrs. Longworth, 
who has been his English and journalism teacher and guides his flock block sessions. Mrs. Longworth exemplifies the Falcon talent of service. In addition to his academic accomplishments, Will has been a member of the Fenwick golf and volleyball teams for three years and has been a student ambassador. Will is grateful for his experiences and friendships at Fenwick and thanks his teachers, Mrs. Longworth, and his parents for this opportunity. <laughs> Jaden Shredder. Jaden Shredder is being escorted by his special educator, Mr. Bowersfeld, currently, currently his microbiology instructor, instructor. He has excelled in academics, always filling his schedule with as much as he can. He has been on the soccer team since freshman year in marching and pep band in sophomore year, continuing each of these throughout his most recent season. Through these and other extracurricular activities like martial arts, he has learned what he enjoys and the paths upon which he reaches to trend for the rest of his life. He, will, he has learned leadership from scouts and brought that experience to his schooling and his extracurricular activities. He would like to thank Mr. Bowersfeld for the inspiration in extra and curricular activities, his parents for the freedom to pursue his other interests as long as they do not impact his schooling, and his sister for always being a support throughout his life. Sarah Seacrest. Sarah Seacrest is being escorted by her special educator, Mr. Bendel, who has been her tennis coach in her time at Fenwick. Mr. Bendel is one of her favorite coaches she has ever had and has coached her in the past three years on the team. Sarah's, Sarah has excelled in academics, athletics, and the arts at Fenwick. She has been on varsity on the tennis team, acted every theater production since freshman year, belonged to student council and medical club, and is a member in a, and is a Fenwick ambassador. She also does service by participating in local food drives and teaching Sunday school at her local parish. All these activities in and outside of school have helped her become a better, more well-rounded person. She would like to thank Mr. Bendel, her family, and her friends, giving her the love and support that helped her achieve this honor. Amelia Snyder. Amelia Snyder is being escorted by Ms. Mrs. Terry Cunningham, her fourth grade reading and history teacher and grade school librarian. Mrs. Cunningham has been a fantastic role model for Amelia and has helped her grow into who she is now. Amelia is involved in many different activities at Fenwick, including girls varsity golf, swim team, drama club productions, and Fenwick ambassadors. She is grateful for the experiences she has been able to learn from and the opportunities they have given her to grow and develop her leadership skills. She would like to thank her parents and all the teachers, especially Mrs. Cunningham, for the support they have given her and the lessons they have taught her. Amanda Sung. Amanda Song is being escorted by Mrs. Dukes, who was a swim team coach for Amanda. Mrs. Dukes helped shape Amanda into a strong young woman. Dukes has excelled in, Amanda has excelled in academics and sports. She has been, she has been a coach for the, of the swim team. Mrs. Dukes has learned to motivate people to do what they have wanted to do. Amanda has made a lot of lifelong friends and has helped to shape people to be their true selves. She would like to thank her peers and parents for all their support and love they have given her to achieve this honor. Joseph Taggart. Gus Taggart is being escorted by his mentor, Joan Gibson. Mrs. Gibson, Gus's grandmother, has taught him life, life lessons and helped him make decisions that made Gus the person he is today. Gus has participated in soccer and lacrosse while at Fenwick. He has also been involved in the student athlete, athlete leadership team and Fenwick amb ambassadors. He would like to thank his family for always being there for him and supporting him as a student.
Nathaniel Thomas. Nate Thomas is being escorted by his special educator, Mr. Poplis, who has been his teacher during his tutorial classes during his time at Fenwick. Mr. Poplis helped Nate out whenever he was struggling with certain subjects regarding his classes and helped him give reassurance whenever he was dealing with many things at once. Nate has managed to persevere through the hardships of high school and develop as a person because of it. He has been involved with drama club and cross country and has even been a part of the open house during his junior year of high school. Because of his time here at Fenwick, he has learned many great things about life and being kind to others, lessons that he will carry with him as he goes out into the world. He would like to thank his parents, siblings, classmates, and teachers who have helped, him, helped support and guide him to this path in life, which has helped him achieve this glorious honor. Anna Yuland. Anna Yuland is being escorted by her grandmother, Vicki Yuland. Mrs. Yuland helped persuade Anna to pursue a religious education after previously attending public school until eighth grade. She has encouraged Anna in her sports and academics all throughout her life. Anna partakes in many clubs and sports here at Fenwick. She plays tennis and lacrosse and is a member of Spanish Honor Society, Ambassadors, and Student Council. Through Fenwick, Anna has deepened her friendships and her faith. She would like to thank all of her coaches, teachers, her grandmother, and her parents for their help and guidance along the way. <laughs> Stephen Uterdyke. Stephen J. Uterdyke is being escorted by his special educator, Mrs. Kelly Lors, who was his freshman English teacher. Jay has excelled at both academics and athletics while at Fenwick. He has been varsity soccer all three years, played freshman basketball, and is now on the varsity baseball team. Jay participated in SALT his freshman year and was a Fenwick ambassador his freshman and sophomore years. Jay has grown as a young man through his accomplishments and friendships at Fenwick. He would like to thank his teachers, coaches, and especially his family for the love, support, and guidance in helping achieve this honor. <laughs> Ryan Von Eerden. Ryan plays soccer, bowling, and track and field. However, this year, he has taken the position as a track and field manager due to a knee injury. He is also part of the ski and snowboard club and he is a Fenwick ambassador. Ryan excels in both academics and athletics here at Fenwick. He would like to thank his parents and teachers for all they have done for him at, this, at his time here at Fenwick. He would like to thank specifically Mr. McPhail, his special educator, who has helped him pursue his interests in engineering. <laughs> Margaret Louise Wagner. Maisie would like to acknowledge her first grade teacher, the late Emily Joyner. Mrs. Joyner made learning fun and encouraged her to be a leader at a young age. Maisie has excelled in academics at Fenwick while continuing to participate in studio dance several days a week. She has been a member of the varsity dance team for three years, performed in two mu musicals, and participated in key club and Latin club activities. Maisie also assists with religious education at her home parish, Our Lady of the Rosary. These experiences have taught her many skills, while also allowing her to form lasting friendships. Maisie would like to thank her teachers and her family for the love and support they have given her the last 17 years. <laughs> Braden Weber. Braden Weber would like to acknowledge Mrs. Christine Gladden, his special educator who was an, unable to be here today. Braden Weber began his time here at Fenwick as a sophomore. He has excelled in both academics and athletics throughout high school. He has been a part of the golf and volleyball teams at Fenwick and looks forward to his senior year. <laughs> Sean Wiley. Sean Wiley would like to acknowledge his special educator, Mrs. Baumaster, who has been his technology teacher freshman, sophomore, and junior years at Fenwick. 
Mrs. Valmaster has sparked an interest in the area of IT, which Sean plans on pursuing in college. He has been a member of the bowling team since freshman year, involved in the eSports club, is a member of the Spanish Honor Society, and is an active member of his Boy Scouts troop. These experiences have provided wonderful opportunities for him to grow as an individual and a member of the Fenwick community. He would like to thank the various teachers who have helped him in his journey towards excellence. He would especially like to thank his parents for always pushing him to be his best and whose love and dedication have helped him make this possible. Maggie Zentmeyer. Margaret Zentmeyer is honored to mention Mrs. Kim Drefsinki as her special educator. Mrs. Drefsinki was Maggie's 10th grade algebra teacher who helped shape and encourage Maggie to be dedicated to service in school. Maggie has participated in various service activities over the years, including being a member of the Night for the Fight leadership team, tutoring, participating in opening minds through art, going on service trips, and volunteering when possible. She has grown as a leader through these activities and has met various people and made many friends. She would especially like to thank Mrs. Drefsinki for being a great role model, supporter, and teacher. We would also like to acknowledge the following students and their special educators who were not able to be here with us today due to scheduling conflicts. Therese Bell and her special educator, Mrs. Yusuf Poli. Abriana Campbell and her special educator, Ms. Jennifer Baumaster. Kennedy Fulton and her special educator, Sarah Smith. Matthew Hayes and his special educator, Mr. Michael Bishop. Caroline Hensley and her special educator, Mrs. Amy Anders. Elizabeth Hobbs and her special educator, Mr. Brooke Bowersfeld. Michael McDonald and his special educator, Mrs. High. Keenan Norton and his special educator, Mr. Sudi Mohan. Ryan Rosenberg and his special educator, Mr. Goodale. Maxwell Vendely and his special educator, Mrs. Linda Kilker. Okay, let's give another hand for all the inductees. <laughs> um, secondly, I would like to uh, do a couple other acknowledgements. Um, first of all, for the students, can you please give a hand to your special educators for coming here? Not just for coming here, but also being the role model they were for you and the inspiration they have been for you. So. Um, both the students and the parents, let's give a hand to the special educators. Um, next, um, the teachers can also applaud along with the students. Let's give a hand for all the parents who have brought you here today. Um, I don't mean just by the car, but I'm talking about all their encouragement, all their love and support they've given you over the years. So let's give it for the parents. Okay, I would also like to thank the, uh, Mr. Collison, the staff here for coming for all the students, um, all the people who've set this up and everybody else that's taken part in this festivities. Okay, the last thing we're gonna be doing today is the students will now do the pledge. Now the pledge, everybody, is on the inside insert behind the program. This is a pledge that they um, um, do before they become officially part of the National Honor Society. Um, next year, I'd just like to mention that their volunteer things that they'll be doing, they will be assisting with the grandparents mass, they'll be at graduations this year actually, um, one of their biggest things they do, which I think is very honorary, is they are tutors for um, a lot of underclassmen that need help. 
Um, our tutors usually have 40 or 50 of the people that are back here tutor every year, and there's just countless hours they spend helping the underclassmen with their subjects and stuff, and I think it's a really wonderful program. So anyway, um, everybody stand up. That's um, going to be an inductee, please. Okay, so again, the pledge. I, everybody with me, I pledge myself to uphold the high ideals of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected, striving in every way by word and deed to make its ideals the deals of my school and my life. Thank you. Okay, before we process out, um, we are gonna have pictures for the whole National Honor Society. That would be all the inductees in the auxiliary gym. Um, we're still in um, the midst of COVID, but next year might be totally different, hopefully. And we're rounding the corner, so to speak. But we cannot, unfortunately, have a, um, a um, reception afterwards. So um, I just ask that everybody properly socially distance and everything. But um, your students will be in the, in the auxiliary gym for a little bit just to take a class photo that we can put on our website and also offer to everybody else. So just a note after the ceremony just for all the inductees to please go to the auxiliary gym. Thank you. <laughs>